Hi everyone, my name is Jenna and welcome to The Covet List. I think this is part five of my Black Friday mini haul series. You are seeing me um, at a downwards angle because you're resting on my laptop, but I just wanted to show you. This is not part of the Black Friday haul, but Sephora had a separate 20% coupon sale. Um, I think it was for Cyber Week. I'm not entirely remembering correctly, but I definitely hopped at the chance to get a little bit more, even though I had an entire week of VIB Rouge discount, um, cause your girl spends a little bit too much money. Sorry. I, um, had to get rid of a notification. Okay. Anyways, let's get started. Please ap I apologize for the way I look. I'm super sleepy today i don't know what's going on maybe i'm pregnant maybe i'm not <laughs> but yes let's get on started so the first thing that i'm pretty excited about is a perfume this is a joe malone perfume that i've had many samples of previous this is the nectarine blossom and honey perfume and I got it in the travel size. And I actually had three other perfumes. I had the Wood, Sa Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Um, the, what was it called? Uh, it was something with Cassis? No, not the Cassis one. Wood Sage and Sea Salt. It wasn't the peony one, but it had basil. Something with basil. And the third one, I don't remember. Something with fig. One with fig and one with basil. But it wasn't like the lime basil one. It was a different one. Um, but the more I wore those, the more it kind of really hurt my nostrils for whatever reason. But I've been trying... Um, and trying multiples of the little sample size of the nectarine blossom and I just decided to just bite the bullet and get it um, we'll see it's kind of I think someone already sprayed this oh no they didn't the initial notes I get hit like hits of citrus And then, yeah, nectarine blossom, I guess, if that's what it's supposed to smell like. And then it fades off into like a really nice honey scent. Um, I've noticed that Joe Malone scents can sometimes come off as washroom scents if I think a little bit too much about it. But I actually enjoy this. Like, it's very fresh. It's very spring-like. It's winter right now, so it's really going to lift up my mood. Um, and I'm really happy about getting this for a little bit of a discounted price. And the next two items, I've actually never tried anything from this brand before. And the brand is Necessaire. So fancy, super expensive. But I do want to just preface that I have a really extremely sensitive scalp. I have sores on my scalp. Um, I think it's from dryness, but also from like picking at my scalp due to anxiety. Whenever I have any anxious feelings, I tend to just reach for my scalp and I just pick at sometimes like there's nothing there and I'm just picking at my skin. Um, it's a really, really terrible, terrible habit, um, but it's a habit that I have and I think one of the contributors to that habit is my shampoos because a lot of my shampoos, they dry out my scalp and so my scalp tends to feel like tight and itchy and a result of feeling tight and itchy is actually sometimes the skin barrier itself will just break and sometimes my scalp will just start bleeding and have scabs and when I have scabs, then I pick them and then it's just like a really terrible cycle. So I was hoping that this shampoo duo, and I also got one more um, item from Necessaire will help my scalp issues. 
And let's just da, 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 da. benefits. It cleanses, hydrates, and strengthens, and it has B3, B5, hyaluronic acid, celery seed extract. It is hypoallergenic and non-comedogenic. And yeah, I think it should be okay. The pH is from 4 to 6.5. So the shampoo is 5.5 to 6.5. And the conditioner is 4 to 5. Let's see anything else. Yeah, that's about it. Let's just go ahead and open it. I'm actually super curious. Oh, also it's unscented, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and smell it anyways. Ooh, I like the packaging. It's one of those where you twist it and then you can directly um, pour out the product from the twist. Okay. So it looks like this. It's got like a matte kind of reminiscent of NARS packaging. It's got that um, textured matte silicone -y feeling. Excited, excited to use this. Uh, it would be a little bit sad, to be honest, if it did work out because that would mean that I would have to commit to using these products. But, I, I mean, I gotta say, it's freaking beautiful. Like, I know this packaging is so simple, but it's so pretty. Um, and it also has in the back multivitamin. I mean, if you are, you know, any type of product junkie or... Um, you get a little scientific with it, you'll know that a lot of these actives don't necessarily work on your skin um, unless you apply it for a prolonged amount of time. So any rinse-offs are usually just rinse-offs. So if you can find a conditioner and shampoo that just work for your scalp, regardless of the price, regardless of the brand, um, then you should stick with it. And unfortunately, a lot of the things in the drugstore that I've use previous they just don't work for my hair they make my hair really greasy um or they are really extremely drying and sensitizing to my scalp currently i'm using verb uh the ghost shampoo and conditioner but i think the shampoo and conditioner is actually making my scalp a little bit too dry i've actually noticed that that was a comment um in the reviews for the verb ghost shampoo where a lot of people were saying how it made their hair really dry which inadvertently makes their hair more oily because then your scalp starts to overproduce sebum um, which i'm not really finding that i'm necessarily overproducing sebum because i have kind of upped my wash cycle where i am washing my hair a lot more often than i was before before i was washing every three to four days um, and now i'm washing almost every other day or every two days if I can stretch it or if I'm too busy um, and I've noticed that with more hair washing it's actually a lot less oily it's just that now my scalp is dry so <laughs> anywho, to try to combat that I got the necessary scalp serum and in terms of the ingredients I was really interested in the serum um, because one it has it has tripeptides, panthenol. Um, I don't know what clover seed or celery seed extract does, but it also has camellia, sinus seed, sinensis, sinensis, <laughs> camellia, sinensis seed leaf extract, or just leaf extract, not the seed, which is basically just green tea extract, which I found that is a amazing ingredient to controlling sebum. So I like that it's in here, but mainly it's for the, there's biotin in here as well. There's two other peptides. No, it's got three, four, five. It's got five different peptides. The last ingredient is glycerin. Um, and the main humectant in here is butylene glycol and propane diol, uh, as well as hyal hyaluronic acid. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of butylene glycol or propane diol, but um, they are pretty similar to glycerin. 
Um, and if you've ever tried putting glycerin in your hair, that shit does not come out. So it's probably better that, that those are actually the main ingredients. Oh, and it's also got niacinamide. So this is really promising. I'll definitely get back to you guys in regards to the serum and whether I see an improvement in my scalp health. Um, but yes, I am a little bit nervous with the peptides though, because, um, if peptides are stimulating to the hair follicles, it could make my scalp more itchy, but we'll see. And it says the benefits are that it restores, hydrates, and strengthens, and it's got biomimit, mimetic, mimetic? Biomimetic. I know that means that it like copies. Um, there we go. I know that it mimics bio functions is what it means, but I can't pronounce that word for my life. Anyways, peptides, um, hyaluronic acid, B3, B5, celery extract. This is a liquid pH 4.725.7. And it's a daily restorative treatment for the scalp and hair. And apply daily to the scalp in the event of contact with eyes or rinse with water. Okay, so no other instructions here. I've never really used a, a scalp serum, especially in this particular packaging before. I've used the sprays before, but um, that particular formula that I used for that, it didn't work at all. But this comes in a 60 ml bottle. I feel like this is really little if you're trying to apply it to your entire scalp, but maybe less is more, um, which I hope less is more because shit's expensive, you know? Like I know there's peptides in it, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so, oh, okay. So this feels like an essence, like it's got, it's not, it's not the same texture as water. Um, it has a little bit more of a viscosity, but not more than like a serum. Um, so I would compare it to a really, really light toner that contains hyaluronic acid. So this is actually pretty good. I was actually expecting something thicker, but I'm glad that it's not because um, it won't weigh my hair down. So we will see what this little trio does for my scalp. I hope it works out, but I also hope that it doesn't because it's really expensive. Um, but if it does, I, you know what, I won't be mad at it either just because I've been struggling with my scalp for so many years. But that actually concludes um, today's mini haul. Um, these are the four items that I got in this Sephora haul. These four, they look so beautiful together. Oh my goodness. But yes, thank you so much for watching. And I do have about... I want to say four more packages left to receive, but they are all coming next week. So stay tuned for my next video if you're interested in all of that I am hauling for the end of this year. Before I go on my no buy, oh my gosh, it is, it's coming. And I am a little bit scared, but I'm equally as excited to finally take control of my money. And, you know, let's see where it takes us. So if you want to join the journey, hit the subscribe button, give me a like, um, and comment down below. That would mean so much to me, and I will see you in the next one.